Hi everyone, so my name's Kelly. Um, I've been doing Indonesian since I was six, since year one. Um, and I continued to study it all throughout high school. I was actually the only one who continued studying it in high school after it stopped being compulsory, so it was just me and my teacher. Um, it was a quiet class. But um, I went to um, Surabaya three times on exchange during high school for about 10 days a time. Um, as you can see there with my Indonesian classmates. Um, and it was great getting to be able to live in the homes of Indonesian students and be able to study over there. They themselves study about three extra languages on top of English and Indonesian. So it was quite inspiring. Um, I recently graduated from my undergraduate degree in Indonesian and security terrorism and counterterrorism. And I'm currently doing a master's degree in international affairs and security, all of which is at Murdoch. Um, I spent six months living and studying in Indonesia in 2017 at university, um, studying um, lots of language units and a bit of Arab culture, international security studies, US foreign policy. And the biggest thing a language can give you, but, um, besides language skills themselves, is that cross-cultural understanding that you can't get from not being able to immerse yourself in another culture. Particularly having that in-country um, experience can definitely help with that. And the employability of having languages I'm currently looking at graduate programs, particularly um, Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. They're all asking for particularly people who have Indo-Pacific language skills. So it's always good to have those language skills and helps. Kelly, there were very few students studying Indonesian at your high school. Why did you choose to continue? So having done Indonesian all throughout junior school and then um, moving into high school, um, it was something I, you know, I had the skill in it. It's something I was enjoying studying. and something I was doing well in. And constantly my family, every, every year, if not twice a year, was going to Bali. So having those language skills did help a little bit. It was always fun to use it over there. Um, but I had a, a very passionate um, Indonesian teacher who's actually here today, Ibi Vicky. Um, she was so inspiring and um, told us the reasons why we should be studying Indonesian. And it was so inspiring and she was so passionate and it just, um, resonated onto all the students, um, so I definitely wanted to keep going. And doing my exchanges as well through um, my high school was really, really good to be able to engage with those people and get those really good experiences. And I wanted to have Indonesian as a skill that I could continue with. Thank you, Kelly. You took part in an in-country study program with the Australian Consortium for In-Country Indonesian Studies. Can you please explain the opportunities that the consortium has provided to students who learn Indonesian and how the experience has benefited you? So, Achichis, which is the name of the organisation, um, runs about, say, 20 or so programs, and some of them are two weeks long, some of them are six months long. Um, you can go and do creative arts, business, law, um, agriculture, development, tourism. Um, I did their flexible language immersion program, so I went um, knowing that I was going to build my language skills. That was the main purpose of me going over. Um, the staff at the teachers are very, very dedicated. Their office is actually here on campus. But one of the biggest skills I got from going over with the Chichis is that confidence in my language that I, I couldn't get here in Australia, um, you know, in a classroom. As I'm sure many of you will understand, the, the nerves and stress of doing an oral presentation or an oral exam in your languages. Um, and it's sometimes hard to switch out of those nerves when you're trying to engage in a normal conversation with someone because you're thinking, like the grammar's got to be perfect, I don't want to use the wrong word here. Um, but when you're over there and you're completely immersed in the language, you have to be able to say something and you know, get your message across if they don't understand English. Like, I'm either going to have to just say some words that will hopefully be right, whether they're in the right order or not, or I'm going to have to do it through interpretive dance. To try and, <laughs> and I don't really want to do that. So it, building that confidence was really important for my language skills. Um, and by the end of it, my fluency level had increased massively and I wasn't scared to engage in conversations with people anymore. I wasn't scared to say the wrong thing or that someone was gonna laugh at me for, you know, saying the wrong thing. So that's probably one of the biggest skills I got. Also the independence of 
going over a joint exchange and living by myself for the first time was really good. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, what could students expect from studying languages at Murdoch? What were the highlights? So at Murdoch, I went straight into second year Indonesian um, because I did it in high school. Um, so that was good, getting this out in first year. Um, but we had one teacher, Pakarianto, who was really, really good. He's from Indonesia. And um, he, so every week we had a couple of quizzes. We had a listening quiz and a reading quiz. Um, and we had weekly oral presentations, which sounds really scary, I know. Um, but we, coming into second year, we started with, we'd have a whole script when we came into our oral presentations for the week. Um, and slowly throughout my degree in increments, we went down to by the end of third year having nothing whatsoever. You just had to get up and talk for two minutes and it was fine. Um, it, there were smaller classes, but um, the environment is really, really good. They're always you know, pushing you to take the opportunities of exchange and stuff like that. Um, and he's very, very helpful. Um, and I would say, the Indonesian program at Murdoch is, is really, really good and I would encourage any Indonesian students here to go on to Murdoch and go study.